Hey, have you ever seen this symbol and had no idea how to actually put your facial capture onto that uh, character model? Well, neither did I. Um, I'm quickly going to show you a method that I'm using at the moment to add facial capture onto these kinds of models. Okay, so first of all, I have my Valkyrie blueprint here, uh, which I'm going to use in this case. Um, so this is Valkyrie. I want to add my facial mocap onto her face. Uh, so first step is is to find that facial mocap, and now I just open my uh, facial capture, which is my Slate Nine. I select Valkyria, drag and drop her in. Um, with MetaHuman, you should just drag and drop the blueprint in and you will see the face move uh, automatically after making a few adjustments. So in this case, it does not work. So how do I make a face move? So what I like to do is I'd like to see what exactly uh, is the core layer of a blueprint. So I'll open it up, hit a blueprint, and I go viewport, and I like to select on where her face is. Uh, I'd like to select on a face. So I can see a face is actually linked to this mesh layer called SK Valkyrie. So I'm going to open that. Skeletal mesh uh, SK Valkyrie. And I select a face and I see I can select a face. Um, so this is what I want to add my uh, facial mocap on. I then go to my animation toggle, which is here. This is not the animation I want, but as mentioned, this is SK Valkyrie. I want to use live link on that face. So I look for my live link preview controller. I also want to use my slate nine, which I opened there. So now you can see her face changed a little bit uh, over there. So now I know she is linked to my um, live link that I previously opened. So what do I do now? So now I want to record this. Uh, I want to record the facial capture on here. So what I usually do is I select record. I call it what I want. I'm going to, in this example, say um, live link head. Um, you save it anywhere you want. I want it 60 frames per second. OK. You see it's starting recording. Nothing is happening. So what I then do is I go to the front here and I play. Then I jump back to my uh, SQL Valkyrie mesh and you can see my animation is playing there. So now I just wait it out. And that was my facial capture. So I will stop it now. I'm happy. I stop that. The recording is saved. I go out. Again, I go out and I close it completely. Now here's my, here's my Valkyrie blueprint. But how do I add animation there? So, as I mentioned, the, the core mesh is that SK skeletal mesh. So, I want to add animation to Valkyrie. So, I select this track and I see what is going to be the closest um, to that uh, facial mesh. So, we know it's the main body. So, I'm assuming it's going to be this character mesh. So, I select that. Then, I click this plus and add my animation. So there's all a few animations already available. So I'm going to look for my head animation. And there is my live link head. I jumped all the way here now. Let me just drag it back. And as you can see, here's the beginning where nothing happened. And then eventually when I started to hit play, there it is. So I'm just going to shorten it a bit up to here. Let's see. And there's my facial animation. So obviously you can still make edits here. You'll see a bit of clipping there by the lip. But that is how you add your facial animation onto these models. Uh, if you guys are interested, I can also do a video of how to use the face uh, and the body um, animations together. Because uh, in this case, the, the facial animation will have to be separate from the body animation. And then we can just put it together at the end. But if you want more details, 
you're welcome to just leave a comment uh and i'll do a video on that as well thanks hope it helps bye